Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com. In this video, I'm gonna be comparing ChatGBT versus Claude AI. Now for those unfamiliar with what Claude AI is, this is a brand new AI chatbot released by a company called Anthropic. So they have a complete you know, press release here that explains what Claude AI is. And as you'll see, they say they are a next generation AI assistant based on Anthrop Anthropic's research into training helpful, honest, and harmless AI systems. So again, this is very similar to ChatGBT and can provide some of the same functionalities, such as writing, QA, coding, um, and just general prompting that you people use with ChatGBT on a daily basis. And I will leave a link to this in the description below if you want more information on Claude AI. And I would recommend looking at this too, is that Anthropic is continually investing in Claude AI. As you'll see here, they are now in Slack. They have Zoom integrations. Um, and I'll leave a link to this in the description below too. Um, but just letting you know just how impactful Claude AI could become in the sphere of these AI chatbots. You'll see they just released what's called Claude 2. That is the next version of Claude AI. Um, and, and honestly, users could expect this to potentially be better than ChatGBT if OpenAI doesn't continue to expand as quick as Claude here. Um, so what I wanna do in this video, guys, is compare ChatGBT versus Claude AI. And I do have a complete written guide here, and I will leave a link to this in the description below that not only explains Claude AI and ChatGBT in more detail, but also compares you know, some of the natural language processing functionalities. Um, and again, I'll leave a link to this in the description below if you are curious for more information on this topic. But guys, let's dive in and actually compare these two. And for the purposes of this example, I'm going to ask the exact same prompt that is going to be related to writing a blog post. So here I say, chat GBT, please write me an SEO optimized blog post for the following keyword digital marketing trends in 2023. And then I give it some guidelines here, a minimum of 1500 words, format with H2s and H3s, five FAQs, serious writing tone, and then also one to two sentence paragraphs. So I'm gonna see what they actually did and I'm gonna compare both ChatGBT and Claude and I'm going to see what each tool came up with and then I'll just give my analysis on each one. So looking at ChatGBT, and by the way, I am using ChatGBT+, which does have the GBT4 language model. Just wanted to throw that out there. But looking at this right away, um, I noticed instantly it didn't do the one to two sentence paragraphs or it's just using very long sentences. So I don't like that. It also did not format with H2s and H3s like I asked it to. All it did was simply put H2 and H3 before whatever the heading is. So now I'd have to go back and copy and paste and do that within WordPress or whatever you know, CMS that you are using. Um, so I don't like that. But looking at the actual, you know, meat of the content here, so digital marketing trends. Okay, the rise of AI, that's a good one. Augmented reality, that's a good one. Uh, video content, yeah, I could see that. That's a good one. Voice search, yeah, I'll, I'll fly with that one. Um, sustainability and social responsibility, yeah, I guess that's another good one too. Um, so it did give me five FAQs with answers like I asked it to. Um, but overall, probably not a bad blog post that you could use. But let's compare this to now with what Claude AI did. All right, guys, now let's take a look at what Claude AI produced. And as you'll see, I did prompt it with the exact same thing as I did with ChatGBT. So right off the bat here, I do really like this in the first sentence. Here is a 1,570 word SEO optimized blog post on digital marketing trends in 2023 with H2s, H3s, FAQs, and a serious writing tone. So I like how it told me right here instead of just going straight into the blog post. So that way I know that it did already meet some of these requirements, hopefully. And as you'll see right away, we have an H2 heading here. So it did already use an H2 heading like I asked. ChatGBT did not do that. And let's actually look into the meat of the content here. Video marketing, similar to ChatGBT. I really like this answer here. Continued importance of search intent. So search intent is everything. Um, and as you know, content just continues to expand and expand and SEO becomes more competitive and pay-per-click becomes more competitive, it's always gonna be about search intent. So I like that answer a lot. 
voice search, same as chat GBT, um, importance of mobile optimization. I like this answer too. Um, relevance of personalization. Yeah, that's a good answer too. Um, I would say in terms of, you know, what it actually gave me for output, I like what Claude did here a little better. Chat GBT did give some good outputs, um, but I am liking what I see here so far. Uh, more reliance on automation. I like that one. Influencer marketing, that's definitely a huge trend in digital marketing. The metaverse, I don't know if I'm sold on that right now. I'm not sure about that. Focus on sustainability, same as ChatGBT. And here is an error that I actually caught, optimizing for EAT. So it's actually e EAT now as there is an experience and Google updated this last year, I believe sometime around September, maybe it was earlier in 2023, I can't say right now, um, but this is definitely an error right here. But overall, not a bad output. Um, it did give me some FAQs, five FAQs with answers like I asked it to. Um, and what I really like here is you can just simply hit copy instead of going through or, you know, control A. Um, I like how they have a copy option here. Uh, they have a retry. So instead of, you know, you didn't click regenerate chat GBT or prompting it again, I can just click retry and it'll produce a whole new set of outputs. Um, but overall guys definitely like what Claude AI gave me here. Um, and I'm definitely going to start using this now more either for blog content, um, generic prompts, or just other things that you would typically use chat GBT for. I'm definitely going to give Claude AI a better look and I will probably try to provide it with other more sophisticated prompts. All right, guys, so let's run another test between these two chatbots. I'm gonna do the recency test here. So who won the 2023 NBA Finals? That's what I'm gonna test these tools with. And as you'll see, ChatGBT, as of my last update in September 2021, I do not have information on the results of the 2023 NBA Finals. Again, this is what I expected. However, when I come to Claude, it's sort of the same response. It says, unfortunately, I do not have enough information yet to know who won the 2023 NBA Finals since the NBA season has not finished, blah, blah, blah. So as it says, just finished in June 2022, this is also not up to date as this one is last recorded in June 2022 and ChatGBT says September 2021. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up Bard here as an example and let's see what Bard says here. Who won the 2023 NBA Finals. And guys, this is why I like Bard when it comes to recency prompts. And Bard should get it here as they do. The Denver Nuggets won the 2023 NBA Finals, defeating the Miami Heat in four or five games. As you'll see right away, they are pulling straight from Google. So it makes sense that Bard would be the best in recency. All right, guys, and I'm going to run one more test here in this example, and this one's going to test the creativity of Claude AI versus ChatGBT. So I'm going to ask the following prompt. Please write me three SEO titles for the following keyword, digital marketing trends. And let's see what ChatGBT produced. Digital marketing trends 2023, what's dominating the online scene, the future of online advertising, top digital marketing trends to watch, from AI to video, and viewing the latest trends in digital marketing. So not bad here. Now let's see what Claude AI produced. The top seven digital marketing trends you need to know. I like this SEO title a lot. 2023 digital marketing trends, how to prepare your business for what's ahead. That's a good one. 2023 digital marketing trends, AI void. That one's okay. If I were to pick anything out of all of these replies, it would definitely be the number one here from Claude. The top seven digital marketing trends you need to know in 2023. I just feel like having the number towards the top as a listicle type and also, you know, adding something like you need to know that drives more emotion too. And it's like, Oh wow, I need to know that I better click that. Right. That's just going to entice someone to click more on your uh, link in my opinion, when they're deciding in the SERP on Google. So guys, that's it. That is the comparison between Claude AI versus chat GBT. Again, this is Ryan with AI insider tips. I hope this video helped you out. And again, I'll leave a link to this in the description below for more details on this topic. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below on what AI tools or AI topics that you would want me to do videos on. And I look forward to creating more content like this in the near future.